All right, guys. So I was scrolling the Facebook the other day, looking at these groups and check out these cable management systems that these folks shared. And there's all, it's cool because there's a bunch of people sharing these things, but I encourage anybody to go join the, was it Church Sound and Media Text group? But here is one uh, oh, posted yeah. by Bruce. Just finished making a new cable storage system. So what what is going on here? What are we looking at? I, I see two by fours ran over a table saw to notch out some hol- some slots. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then yep. bungees with those little ball ends. Wow. And that's it. it. Looks like, it, yeah. Do they have hooks or is it just the ball or is it just the bungee with the ball end? I mean, I bet There's you can no tie it there. to the cable if you wanted to. Like you could um you could, you know, wrap it around the cable and leave it connected to the cable, but some of them still have velcro probably from this old system. Yeah, you're right. That's what I was wondering like if if you yeah, could you just use the bungees cuz I'd be more concerned about now do I have to worry about the velcro tie and the bungee? I think mm. just the bungee would work. You could you could attach the bungee to it. It just I it looks like some of them have well, I guess they are all bungees. I would put I would use some sort of a hook though, because even if you just had two by fours with like those S hooks that you can get at Home Depot or like the the square kind of S looking thing, they would hang there and then you could just hang your cables over them and if you didn't want to worry about the ball ends and the bungees. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a million different ways you can do it. And I think it's, this is a cool way to do it. Um, I like, I like the problem this solves where it's inefficient. If you were to turn these rolls of cables, like, you know, per, like perpendicular or the other way, if you rotate them, like when you're, yeah, you're right. taking up so much wall space and it, it's a pain to get, like, say you have, okay, on this hook, I'm putting a bunch of cables. Like you're having to like, pull cables you know off to get the one that you want this is cool because you get direct access to every individual cable yep. that's true i wonder how like obviously i mean it's working the way he's got it here but like do they have a tendency to turn like would they do this kind of a thing how, how's yeah, he getting it to stay, stay my question this it's a really neat picture i mean it looks really clean yeah. Those cat oh. fives up top are probably the messiest part, but what a cool idea. Yeah. Yeah. So these guys, um, we built it as for the lengths of two by fours. We did a four foot long. So when we get overloaded, if you want to do longer than that, maybe add a center support. Wow. He gives a detailed breakdown here of it. Um, I wonder if he had more pictures anywhere. Cable straps. Oh, these are the cable straps that he's using. These 30 bucks for a hundred pieces, bungee canopy Dang. cord on Amazon. It's only like what, $20 for a two by four now. So yeah. <laughs> so the wood is the most expensive part of the whole project. Okay, sweet. Well, that's cool. Then there's another one. I mean, that's, that's a cool idea. I think it, it could work for some folks. Works for these guys. Th- then this yeah. one right here. So we've got. Okay, so it's like a stage s- box. I mean, it looks mm-hmm. like this is more than just a just cable management. They've had some sort of stage box solution going on here. We well, said this uh, is their. I was reading this post, and they say this was part of a portable setup. So this is kind of like mm. storage and cable management. I didn't read the whole post, but I thought that's what. Yeah. Um, we're a mobile church. Uh, we're dealing with tangled cables every week with our solution. We built the digital snake is on top. The cables and the cubbies have a hole in the back and run up the back and into the snake. So each person just needs to grab a cable from the box and pull it. Well, that's, that's pretty, that's nifty. Okay. Now the question is, can they wrap it and put it back in? Uh, no, of course not. (laughs) Well, something's, you can't close the lid if they don't. <laughs> you can't put a, right. the box away if they don't do it right. Well, it's like easy to tell a volunteer, hey, pull this cable. It's less easy to be like, okay, now wrap it properly so the next volunteer who wants to pull it, it's all coiled correctly. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do like that, though. That's it's clean. That's Yeah, being someone who's been in that situation, it's like, oh, that's a 
that's a nice nice creative solution for sure now they just need some labels adam yeah so we can we can probably help them with that get that label maker We'll get back to the video in a moment, but first I want to tell you about our sponsor, Worship Ministry School. You might think that Adam and I just spend all of our time making YouTube videos, but that would be false. We spend most of our time making these courses that you see here in Worship Ministry School. We have courses on church sound, lighting design, broadcast mixing, keyboard players, electric guitar, Ableton Live, pastoral theology, all of these important essential topics for the modern day worship leader and tech director. And Worship Ministry School consists of two things courses and coaching so we can actually come alongside you and give you customized consulting and advice for your worship ministry so head on over to worshipministryschool.com today click that green get started button complete the application form and book your free strategy session oh dude check, look at this oh sorry hold on i'll just pull it up look at this wow so oh yeah are these like all cat cables like j rj45 Probably. ethernet Probably. stuff that is wait, yeah this so is those are super two zip ties. those are two zip ties wait, yeah, well, wait no like no it's a black zip tie with four zip okay yeah yeah you oh. zip tie one to keep them tight and like condense and then you zip tie the separators yeah. that that's really smart hmm I love that. I feel like that's helpful if you need easy, like easy access to one specific cable all the time. But yeah, zip ties for the win. Wire looms, Adam. You're into looms, aren't you? Yeah, I've I've done some of that. Um, putting some of those together. Adam Baronic, church front coach and loom expert <laughs> yeah i do like looms though the i i love we have looms everywhere and it, it's you pretty can, you can get custom ones from um the company that made the uh the stage or the uh the snake the stage snake like you can get one that's like power and cat and whatever else Wait, Here's like a... you customize which loom you order yeah interesting okay check this out speaking of um looms i don't know why i said that but this is like a nice <laughs> maybe they could use some looms here but man what how many is this because they got like triggers and stuff on every like triggers and mics that's like insane how many cables they've got on this drum set yeah looks clean though very well run yep. Yeah, this is but this is a common thing where like I think especially it looks like they got must be have a maybe an analog snake here. It's great if you can just get a digital snake right by your drum set. That can really clean up a lot of cable runs. And it's great if you can just custom measure your own cable needs and then you know, not yeah. have excess. <laughs> <laughs> great cable management oh beautiful oh, i think we're boy. gonna call this cable management wins and fails yeah there we go yep. beautiful man oh, this guy this guy says a year and a half ago i inherited the sound and tech director <laughs> position at my church cable management was not a priority i might be here for a while oh man yeah adam Once doesn't you, that just does that just get you salivating watching this right now <laughs> i'm no it makes me itchy <laughs> but, but the idea a, of having it complete you would be oh, like if you be, if you could just like be a part of untangling everything putting it back together oh man yeah you, i mean yeah it would that takes time yeah oh All right. no here we go okay. tie lines tie line electrical tape or wraps what's your cho choice not electrical tape <laughs> not electrical and not tie lines i hate tie lines uh, wraps it is yeah Wraps I mean, is, I like maybe. I like that parachute cord for really big cables. Mm, sure. Where that velcro's velcro's like too short for. Totally, totally. And then let's see. One thing that we use um, that works if you have a 
a stage with carpet or even here at the office is that um, nylon with with the loop or the hook part of Velcro. Yeah. Tell well, me the, more. Yeah. Um, we have it, I think, in our toolkit, but it's uh, you could find it on Amazon there too. It's it's like these floor covers, like Velcro floor covers, and it goes over the top of your cables. And as long as you have a carpeted, you know, like a standard office carpet, um, these, yeah, that right? floor grip right there, yeah. Floor, yeah, grip floor. Yeah, we love these. These are amazing. Those are real cool. Yeah, so you can Different just like colors. run a yeah. cable. It's like reusable gaff tape. Oh, and it's Velcro, so you can just rip it up and move it if you need to move it. Yep. That's yep. cool. Doesn't work on wood stages or nope. whatever carpet. else, but carpet um, works. for all you carpet stage people. And then the other thing, too, another idea, uh, we've used one of these is these catapults, right? Yep. Yeah, um, just one Ethernet cable. Yep. So that that could yeah, if you have a you know a couple, whatever it is. I mean, I don't. I'm, I think four channels the max I've usually seen with this. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think it's based on how many cables are within a Cat five cable, because there's yeah. like a shared shared ground, and then each one gets a um, hot and a, a neutral. Yeah, and but, here's a good diagram of it. Like, even if someone had a, um, you know, four microphones, if you had, even if you have an analog mixing console, you could use this like digital audio over Cat Five to get it there. Yeah. So, what do you run it out of? What do you do? You just run it out of a network switch, or do you well, like? So, is that... I don't think it's digital. I think it just re, it reuses the pins or the the lines like the the copper within a Cat cable. So. Usually you get nine, right, within uh, a cat cable. Shared ground is one, and then f four is left for hot and neutral between each XLR. Yeah, that's way, wow, that's that's way, that's of, way over my, that's way over my head <laughs> and my pay grade. But how right. cool is that? That's such a cool solution. I had never seen these before. Yeah, we, we have yeah, one. We have them at South Are we still using it? Are we still using it there, Adam? Yeah, we use it for. Uh, an analog way to get to our broadcast. So um, we're going out of the Behringer wing over to the broadcast station so that they can hear uh, a stereo mix of their broadcast and then switch over to the stereo queue so they can solo um, a channel or a few channels to hear it. And that's how it gets into that analog yeah. switcher. It's a great solution. Um, yeah. Dang. That's cool. What a cool option! That's seriously blown my mind. <laughs> I think this is oh, a good man. a good place to end. Holy cable man, the cable management Batman. <laughs> Hopefully, you don't have to re redo one of those. Like, imagine oh, if one of those got a kink. Is that like a data? Probably like oh, a data those, center or something like those that. Those things are coming out. Yeah, you're not getting you're not getting to the trouble spot I mean, there. We've seen some no. good ones. We've seen some good ones on our tech tours at different churches. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to check out worshipministryschool.com for online courses and coaching for worship ministry leaders. If you'd like to try out one of our courses, go to churchfront.com forward slash courses and you'll see our selection of a la carte trainings. All of the links for that down below this video. Leave a like, subscribe, share it with your friends. See you next time.